Launch control, T minus three minutes and counting. T minus three. They've already fed information to the uh, to the spacecraft, and they'll go even if it should malfunction again today, however. Uh, but they do believe they fixed it. It was in a, a little a tool, small transistor module, so-called, that less than an inch square, uh, that uh, were in the relay box of the computer re uh, This is Gemini chain. Launch Control, now T minus two minutes and 30 seconds and counting. We have word here in the control center that the spacecraft computer has accepted the update information from the Mod 3 system. Uh, of course, information has also gone by hardline to the Gemini launch vehicle. Now T minus two minutes and 15 seconds and counting. The Air Force Eastern, Eastern Test Range has given the blockhouse an OK to launch at this point. Coming up at T-minus two minutes and counting. to stay here with the voice of Jack King. This is Gemini Launch Control, T minus one minute and 40 seconds and counting. We have a report that there was a switchover in Houston, but now we have confirmation that the update data is in the computer. We, the computer has accepted this update data, T minus one minute and 30 seconds and counting. Wrong, minus one minute and 20 seconds and counting. All appears to be proceeding well at this point in the countdown during the final phases. The astronauts have been alerted and we have gimbal those engines as planned. The engines have swung the first stage engines and our checkout still continues at this point. Coming up on one minute shortly. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. minus 50 seconds and counting. We will get ignition at zero in the countdown. Some three seconds thereafter, liftoff will come. During that period, there will be a period of about 1.8 seconds where we possibly will have the capability of shutting down if necessary. T minus 35 seconds and counting. T minus 30. T-minus 25 seconds and counting. We're on an automatic sequence. Everything appears to be going well during this final phase. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The track looks good. We are about five nautical miles downrange. Our next critical moment is the shutdown of the stage one engines of the Titan and the ignition of the stage two, the 100,000 pound thrust stage two. Those big engines should be shutting down at 2.30. 45 seconds and we are 12 nautical miles downrange and approximately 16 nautical miles in altitude. The track still looks very good. Those two big engines 
of thrust, coping almost unbelievable quantities of fuel. T plus two minutes, 20 seconds. The flight crew have been notified that they are go for staging. They're on their way, all right, and that uh, first stage cutoff should come just now. The right now. is now about 52 nautical miles, 50 nautical miles downrange and about 36 nautical miles in altitude, and we have Biko. You can see it there. Cut off. A magnificent the picture. It looks good. The track looks that good. long-range camera, you can see the flare. There's a flare as the booster engines... Eight plus two minutes, 50 seconds. First stage is cut off. Second stage has ignited properly. Everything going exactly right now. They've got 100,000 pounds of thrust for the uh, next stage of their journey. Right. Up officer the reports that the track looks real good to him. This uh, picture is from something called Flight Dynamics Igor. and Guidance and Surgeon all report they look good. The spacecraft now is approximately 120 nautical miles downrange and approximately 60 nautical miles in altitude. They should have jettisoned uh, their second stage about now. Flight uh, Dynamics says we're right down the middle. Perhaps I missed the announcement. They should have had a jettison of second stage at uh, 3 minutes and 15 seconds into the flight. Of them the there still. Now about 70 nautical miles in altitude and approximately coming up on 200 nautical miles downrange. The track looks good, excellent. shield around the spacecraft, similar to that uh, shroud that perhaps did not jettison Flight on the target vehicle. Grands has just completed a final status check. We are green and go, and that information has been passed on to Tom Stafford in Gemini 9. In just a minute from now, the second stage should be cutting off. Gemini 9 is not 200. seconds to second stage cutoff. Point eight. We have reached 80% of the velocity needed for orbit. Flight Dynamics says the trajectory looks very good to him. This orbit that they hope to uh, be injected into is 100 by 168 miles, elliptical orbit so-called. They should have had now second stage cutoff. Let's listen. Seco. The second stage engine has cut off. And now, in another five seconds, they jettison that second stage engine, like and the spacecraft is on its own. A go for Ivar, and that is being passed on to Tom Stafford by communicator Neil Armstrong. They're now... For Ivar, Stafford will burn his thrusters to correct any small in-plane and velocity discrepancies. We're showing you that second stage cutoff. We haven't had confirmation of it yet. We 
have been getting a readout on every stage, and presumably second stage cutoff has taken place and second stage jettison. But at this time, the spacecraft is in orbit, uh, if all has gone well, 100 by 168 mile orbit. It's reached its orbital speed of 17,500 miles an hour, if all has gone well, and we assume it has.